Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain you the Query Browser within SAP Fiori. The Query Browser is an SAP Fiori application that you can use to discover and launch analytical queries. Technically, analytical queries are ABAP CDS views. So enjoy this video and let's get started. So basically to start the Query Browser, just within the search field type in browser and then for example hit the enter key or see based on the result to execute the query browser here as you might face the same result as i'm facing right now because based on my search term browser i can't find any corresponding app so going once again back and checking for some groups there is also no group to basically execute the query browser and if that's also the case for you, then you have to make sure that all the corresponding and the needed services are activated and you have the needed role to get access to the query browser tile, to the query browser app, because SAP underscore all is not enough to get access to the query browser. So let's check this. Therefore, we go into the SAP GUI and we call a transaction. It's the SICF. Once you've entered this, then within the service name, you have to enter one service name and it's few browsers one. Have to make sure that there's no typos or few browsers one. Then execute the search and here basically we have to make sure that when the SAP UI 5 app few browsers one or the service basically is activated if that's not the case for you maybe it's grayed out then you have to right click and then you have to execute the action activate service so this is the first one we have to make sure that is activated and the second one and it's vvm underscore cds view underscore browser so if we execute this and do then do exactly the same so right click and then choose activate service so um, why can't i access the uh, query browser app even though those two services are activated that's because i have um, yeah, a lack of authorization one authorization role is missing and therefore you have to go within the transaction code su01 and then within here you type in your sap user with that you're using the sap fiori launchpad then you go into the change mode then you're going to roles and here you have to scroll down that you can enter the role sap underscore br underscore employee hit the enter key then basically you have to save your changes so basically now we have added the authorization role and then going once again into our sap fiori launchpad just do a refresh and now Let's check if we now can execute the query browser. So within the search field, type in browser. Now we can see the query browser is available and we are allowed to execute it. And as mentioned, within the groups down here, we can also see now the group query browser. And within here, we can also execute the app query browser. And here, basically, we're seeing a lot of analytical queries. So basically over 1000 analytical queries. And they're really, really useful. But basically, if you're here within the, um, the output, within the search list, then you have a lot of possibilities. Of course, within here, you have some columns like favorite tags, few name, few description and application component. And within the search term, you can basically search for existing analytical queries. So for example, just type in purchase, hit the enter key. And then you within here, you're seeing all the analytical queries based on your search term. 
If you want to, you can also within here sort and filter, you can rearrange the sort. So for example, if you would like to sort by the application component and with the descending, you can reset it if you want to, to get the default settings back. And within here, you can also type in filter, for example, tags. Don't, we don't have any tags right now, but here you can also filter for tags and application components. So for example, if we click on application components and then all the application components will be listed and if i for example just click abc then just the analytical queries based on the application component abc will be output so there you have those kind of settings so let's click on ok here you will see now based on our um, yeah, filter crit criterias, the analytical queries. So here based on TM, sales and distribution and so on. And what you can do basically here, now we're seeing show all, you can also show just your favorites. Um, if you select one analytical query, then here at the bottom right, there now it has been grayed out so let's remove this now it's grayed out if you click this and then you have also the possibility to yeah, add your analytical query as a favorite to find it later on easier you can also add text so for example ERP up or whatever you like to so click on ok then now here your tag has been added and you can also open it directly for analysis so as mentioned within here you can show your favorites and now here for example you have two possibilities to output the results you can select it then you can click on open for analysis if you directly want to see the output or you can click on the view name then you will see the details of this analytical query so for example what kind of columns are being used what is the application component once again the description um, the annotations so here you can directly see maybe if this analytical query is suitable for you but what is really important is open for analysis so once you click there then you have basically a lot of functionality you have of course the graphical display there you can see some kind of graphical display for the output once again you can within here see the query information so some technical information but the data analysis i think is the most important one because here you have a lot of possibilities you can uh, yeah you can you can bookmark um, your setting you can add filters you can sort it once you've selected one column um, you can change the hierarchy you can do a drill down you can display specific um, information also for measures with the totals and you have also the possibilities right now here to export your data so within here you can for example export your data to microsoft excel you can export it to a pdf you can change your pdf export setting um, if you would like to change your pdf settings so within here you have a lot of possibilities within down here at top right you can basically once again change some settings but what is uh, i think important is within here you can basically um, save your analytical query directly as a tie so you don't have to open up the query browser that you don't have to search your analytical query that you don't have to open for analysis you can directly save it as a tile so once you've clicked there then you will see some kind of preview so within the titles just open up open days query view whatever subtitle um, for example test description yeah if you want to you can also add a description and here within a group you can enter the group to that you would like to add your analytical query your tile so therefore we click on ok now the tile has been created and if we're going back to our home then here we can see our created tile and if we click here 
then you can see that directly the analytical query has been opened and yeah without the query browser so going once again into the query browser within here into query browser just show my favorites and for example open up the yeah whatever for example the purchase orders yeah we have the columns that are being used open for analysis so, and what is great, because we have not seen this, within this analytical query, you have also some navigation options. You know, so, if you uh, select one purchase order, and then you can display the document flow. You can display the purchase documents by accounting assignment. You can also manage the purchase orders. So, if you select your row, and then you, for example, click on manage purchase orders, then you will be de redirected to the manage purchase orders and if you click on go okay you don't have any any data right now so go back so for example scroll down a little bit or scroll down and let's try it with this and then click on manage purchase orders okay there's still no data found Okay, here yeah, because of the standard purchase orders, I think there are just migrated of demo purchase orders. But here, if they would exist in the output, you directly have a some kind of forward navigation within the purchase orders. So there, yeah, you can you can click around and see directly some detailed information about the purchase order. So yeah, some kind of forward navigation. And if you, for example, would not have selected one row and then you could go to uh, navigate to and then, for example, manage purchase orders, then the purchase order number will not be transferred into the app and you can directly see the output. So this is also useful for you. And for example, if you would like to analyze the um, it's a technically it's a CTS view really deeper than of course you can open this up within the app development tools in Eclipse and analyze it further but for a quick analysis you can open up the SAP GUI then you can go to the ABAP dictionary SE11 then go to view paste it in or type it in then you can click to display and then here you will also see what happens within the CDS view if you really would like to see it within the editor but of course as mentioned within here data definitions can only be edited using ADT in Eclipse so if you really would like to change, if you really would like to work with CDS views, then I prefer using Eclipse, of course. And yeah, there are also some possibilities how you can create custom analytical queries um, within to, to be executable and accessible in the query browser so there will be great upcoming videos also about this so do not forget to subscribe and yeah if you have any questions left put them in the comment section thank you so much for watching see you in the next video